Hi, I'm Clayson Shumway. I'm an All-American at BYU in the steeplechase and in cross country, and I'm here to give you guys a tour of Hogs Hollow. Hogs Hollow is a five mile, mostly dirt trail located near Alpine, Utah with gorgeous mountain views. And we met up with Clayson Shumway, who gave us a tour of the trail. And we got to know the stellar runner a little bit better. My favorite shoe is the La Sportiva Bushido, but I like all of them. I usually get eat like two sleeves of Fig Newtons before a race, but this is like from two days out to six hours out. Also bananas and bagels. So I just want to point out the serving size of a Fig Newton. It's 100 calories for two cookies, and this guy is eating them by the sleeve. Uh, it's the only sport I could do in sixth grade, and I turned out to be pretty good at it. And then I did football in eighth and ninth grade because I thought that was cooler, but then realized I was way better at running, so I stuck with that. And it's a good thing that Clayson stuck with running because he's one of the best runners in the Utah Valley region. He's a guy that's really tough to beat, especially on the hills. Uh, I think a key attribute to becoming an elite runner is um, lots of dedication and being really good at thinking because you're going to spend a lot of time alone while you're running. Hogs Hollow is a nice, easy path to run. It's just five miles long, almost all dirt, and there's nothing there that's too intense. Really, anyone can do it, so don't be scared. But Clayson is known for his ability to power up hills like they didn't mean anything to him. It must be those Fig Newtons. Anyway, he took us to a spot called Jacob's Ladder at the very end of the Hogs Hollow Trail. tip for aspiring runners is just be do as much mileage as you can handle and just learn to enjoy it. Um, I want to be top, an All-American again in cross country hopefully top 10, and then I want to get into trail racing and win some money doing that. So if you're a trail runner in Utah, you'd better keep an eye out for this king of the hills. I probably got up 35, not a ton, 35 pounds. Okay. That's 35 pounds of fat that Clayson's talking about. That's how much weight Clayson gained on his mission, and it's actually a lot of weight. Clayson runs for BYU, and they're consistently one of the nation's top running colleges. And there's controversy around the fact that most of their male runners are two years older than their competition, and that's because they serve a two-year mission. We asked Clayson about this. I would say it's definitely a disadvantage at first because coming back, I was super fat and out of shape and it took me about a year and a half to get in the right mindset for racing. But I think it makes an advantage, uh, gives you an advantage because you're closer to your peak, your senior year of college. But in the end, I don't think two years makes that big a difference. And it's also, people are biased because they only see the success of the BYU guys who actually pan out and then you'll get guys who were really good in high school and then they don't do anything in college after their mission but no one remembers them because it's been so long. So it's not every day you get to run and spend time with runners of Clayson's caliber. So naturally we took the opportunity to ask him about some of the other people in his life who helped shape him into the athlete he is today. His coaches. Because we all know that that's a huge factor in a runner's success and ability to keep crushing it. So the first coach I had was at Liberty High School in Colorado. And I went to Liberty. Really? Wait, you're Claflin. Yeah. Yeah. Clayson, Shumway. I was teammates with Mike. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. <laughs> what the heck? 
That's so wild. You didn't notice him saying he was from Liberty earlier? Well, I didn't think out of Colorado. Like, there's got to be so many Liberties everywhere. Yeah. Wait, so you had Coach Weston? So Westin. I had Coach Weston. Oh, my gosh. That's so crazy. That's so wild. Oh, my gosh. But, <laughs> but actually, his younger brother was, like, the reason I got into running. Oh, really? Because, like, cool. I thought he was super cool and wanted to be like him. And he was a senior when I was a sophomore. So thank you, Michael. <laughs> um, so my first coach was a retired stats teacher, and um, he was a super unique guy. He remi Timo reminds me a lot of him, and he would go to casinos and count cards on the weekends, and then talk to us about stories of running. And uh, he always had consistently good teams, and so there was just a good culture. And then I came to Lone Peak, and I had a bunch of former BYU runners, the Vibes, and they all did super fun it was really fun working with them and then and then ed eye stone is the man like such an awesome coach such an awesome guy so i really enjoyed working with him so if you ever find yourself in the utah valley area particularly in alpine consider putting in a few miles on the hogs hollow trail and if you're feeling adventurous and hungry for a challenge check out jacob's ladder if you're lucky you might just run into clayson shumway beating up the mountain trails, and snacking on sleeves of fig newtons. Thanks for watching Chasing Miles. Don't forget to subscribe for more, leave us a thumbs up, and share with all of your friends who would rather go for a run than do something fun. We'll see you guys next time. I, I run because I love nature and being out in nature, and I love the feeling of my body working really hard and the feeling of being in really good shape and running really fast.